What's going on guys? Doug Sensor Mario. Hoping you guys are all having a great day. So last night I was in a Skype call with Nikon. If you guys don't know who Nikon is, he's basically the guy who makes all of my thumbnails and we talk almost every single night in Skype calls just bullshitting about stuff and just talking about random stuff about life. So as we were talking last night, Nikon actually sent me a YouTube video that I made way back in the day. One of my first videos on my channel. And if you guys didn't know, I started YouTube about nine months ago, I want to say. I think it was in June or July. It was one of those two months. And right now it's, it's April, so it's been a while. It's been almost, you know, eight, nine, maybe ten months since I started YouTube. So the video Nikon linked me was actually a video from when I was at UMG Dallas back in August. This is when I first turned 20. This was the weekend of my 20th birthday. Basically, the video was me walking around the venue at UMG Dallas, just showing you guys around the place and letting you guys know what was going on with our team. But one thing caught my attention. Actually, two things caught my attention. I don't know if you guys are ready for this, but I'm just going to show you anyways. Look at me! So the first thing that pops out is a sleeveless jersey. Obviously, you guys always made fun of that. You call me a tool and all that stuff. But look at my hair! I can't believe how much has actually changed since then. It's been almost eight months. I think the biggest thing that changed is the fact that I don't wear a sleeveless jersey anymore. You know those things looking back at your life when you were like 7 years old and you're like, what was I thinking? Why would I think that way? For example, when I think I was 9 or 10 years old, I had these two girls that my mom used to babysit that went over my house every day. And for whatever reason, I thought that they had cooties. Basically the same thing with the sleeveless jersey. Don't get me wrong, it did get a lot of attention, which could be a good thing if you handle it the right way. But I just thought that it gave too much bad attention and it wasn't that good of an idea. I'm gonna let you guys in on another secret when I think I was 13 years old. When I was 13 years old, my grandfather passed away, which meant that my grandma was all alone in her house, and basically we moved in with her into her house. So since we did that, we had to actually change school districts. So I finished up my last year in seventh grade at one school, and then when I went to eighth grade, I went to a completely different school. When I moved to this school, I ended up having an Italian class first period. Go to a new school to have your very first class in a new school, meeting brand new people. You don't know what to really expect. Actually, I ended up making friends really, really fast, like faster than I expected. And there was a girl that I really liked, and I ended up like taking my bicycle out at night at like 9 o'clock to go see her at her house. Back in the day, our way of getting around was bicycles and using Razer cell phones to talk to people. Flown the Razer, that was like the thing back then. Like, that was the modern day iPhone. So I flipped open my Razer and I texted the girl and I said, I'm going to be there in about 15 minutes. I just got to ride my bike and get over there really quick. I ended up getting over to her house, right? And she has a bunch of her friends over there and a couple of guy friends, a couple of girlfriends, and it's just like a whole group of people hanging out. And for whatever reason, I thought it'd be a cool idea to start racing some people. Like, like racing as in sprinting against your friends, like running and seeing who's the faster person. I guess I thought it was going to impress the girl for whatever reason. I don't know why, but that's just what I thought. I'm not going to lie, I was a really fast kid growing up. And still to this day, I could run like a 4-5, maybe a 4-4-5 four, four, flat. So I'm extremely fast. If you guys don't know, I sweat more than normal people do. I don't sweat uncontrollably to the point where it's extremely noticeable, but sometimes my armpits sweat more than they averagely should. I'm sitting there wearing my Hollister t-shirt, because that's what you wore back in the day, and I got my hair cut, I got everything going my way, and I start running in my Hollister t-shirt and some blue jeans. Now keep in mind it was extremely humid outside. It was like 9 o'clock at night, but it was really, really humid. I was slowly starting to break a sweat just riding my bike over to the house, let alone even walking or doing anything. Like that's how bad the weather was. I race against these two kids, I end up beating them, but I start sweating really really bad. Usually when I sweat a lot, I get really, really embarrassed. Like, depending on the situation, like if I'm outside at gym or something and I start sweating, I won't get embarrassed at all. But if I'm around a girl and I'm trying to talk to her, I don't want to be sweating at all just because I find I find it to be unattractive in a way. At least that's how I used to think when I was 13 years old. Now I really don't give a shit. So I realized, like, I was sweating really, really bad. I finished the race and I started walking back to the girl that I liked. She was like two houses away from me and I had a decision to make. Like, what do I say to this girl? Because I usually get super, super embarrassed when I'm sweating, when I'm talking to a girl. So I didn't know what to do at this time. That's when it hit me. I came up with a brilliant idea. <laughs> so as I'm getting closer to the girl, I figured that I need to say something fast and I didn't know what I was going to say. Me being Doug, <laughs> just doing whatever comes to my head and just being extremely honest, I go up to her and I ask her if she wants to race against me too. But believe it or not, she said yes and she wanted to race against me too. We're getting the entire group of friends to start racing against each other and I just thought it was a really, really cool idea. I mean, looking back at it now, it doesn't really matter the fact that I was sweating so much because everyone else was racing too. But just the thought process of me thinking that it's embarrassing to be sweating around a girl and that it like turns them off and it makes them not want to talk to you was just another one of those weird thoughts that went through my head like what was I thinking? It doesn't really matter. A lot has changed since then. The way I approach people now is a lot different from the way I approach people back in the day. Like I used to have zero confidence when it came to talking to new people but now it's a lot different. I don't know if it's because of video games or YouTube or just talking to a lot of people at events 
but your boy is a completely different person. A lot of you guys keep asking about the cheeseburger thing and what happened with that. I'm going to be making a video on that. Just stay tuned. I'm just waiting for a few things to get sorted out. Also, a roster announcement. You guys all want to know about that. Trust me, I'm on it. I'm just waiting for everything to be finalized and I'll be able to let you guys know. Also, put in the comment section down below an embarrassing childhood story that you guys had too. Something that's real and honest. I really appreciate all your support, guys. And as always, this is your boy, Doug Simpson Martin, and I'm out. Peace. What's going on, guys? Doug Simpson Martin. Hoping you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be playing the one-shot playlist. I haven't played this playlist in a really, really long time, and I'm excited to play. There's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. I want to make a video with Dan talking about bullying, because that's something I really am passionate about. Because when I was a kid growing up, I used to get bullied. And don't take that the wrong way. I wasn't the most popular kid growing up, but with that being said, I wasn't like that kid everybody picked on. You know back in the day when you played pickup football with your friends, and you have like two teams of five, and there would be like ten people and two cats.